All right, so we're doing page 380, 381, and 382, which is subtraction. Uh, notice on this one that the, the weeks aren't capitalized. Anyway, don't, don't copy this. I, I need you to do it from scratch. So um, fill this out most, for the most part um, based on what was in the textbook. And just going to add uh, some formatting here. So we click here. And right click and we're going to go format cells and this time we're working with currency so we want to ha have dollars and cents to two decimal places so we're going to click OK and um, we also want to make sure that the dollar signs are showing for some reason the dollar signs weren't showing there so um, <clears throat> All right, so we're going to format cells, and uh, instinctively you might want to go to currency, but there's no, uh, well, I guess you can add a dollar sign, but it, it doesn't seem to add it. So you want it to go to two decimal points, and then the best way to do it is just click this one here in custom. So we'll go like this, and then we have dollars and cents. And, um, so the other thing that it asks you to do is total something. So the way you do this is you select a cell, and you notice that when you select the cell, um, okay, so I'll teach you how to add. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to do a formula. So with the cell selected where you want the answer, um, you go up to the formula bar and you use the number pad on your keyboard and type uh, type the equal sign and make sure it's the equal sign equals and then you're going to go plus this one plus this cell and then you're going to press enter and there's your answer okay so another short way of doing this select the cells you want to add select the cells you want to add so go like this and click on the auto sum button and it'll add for you I like that method better so you just go like here auto sum now um, you would have want to add the totals for these columns, so you can just go here, and then the auto sum for each row should show up. All right, so that's a quick way of doing it. And so we're just going to come down here and do the same thing. We might as well do it for all, so we're going to do auto sum for each of those, and it does it there and then we'll do auto sum for each of these I believe you can extend it out to here and it'll put the sum there this um, is a little finicky so we'll go auto sum there and all right, so basically what you're doing here is you're subtracting the money that you earn. You're subtracting your expenses from the money that you earned. And I can see here that expenses is spelled wrong, so you can correct that there. Uh, you subtract expenses from the money that you earned, and um, then we're going to see how much is left. So we've got the totals for each column here. So uh, here we're going to subtract 850 from $25. So we're going to subtract and so we're going to use this cell here and press the equal sign and select this cell and then press the subtraction sign and then we're going to subtract our expenses and press the equal sign. There's the answer. So um, We'll do that for this one as well. Press the equal sign and select this cell. Subtract, select minus sign and select this cell. 
and press enter and I believe we can fill the formulas all the way down but we'll just do it again so To select the cell, select equals, like this cell, let's subtract, select this cell, and then press enter. Alright, so now we're going to subtract the total from here. So we'll just select these and do an auto sum. So you want to subtract 33.59 from 100. So I'll leave that with you. Oh yeah, and don't forget to bold your titles here. All right, and then I'm not going to tell you what the answer is, but you need to subtract this from this, and you're going to call this subtraction with your first initials and last initials.